vlog about a perfect now back at you with another video so let me hit you with my scent of the day because it's one i'm trying out and i actually really 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 like so this is from who's this from be layered i've been trying out be layered since one of my perfume mafia members hey if you're watching girl how are you she sent me some samples from be layered and let me tell you heads up i'm gonna do a, a review of be layered anyway the ones i've tried the ones i like but if you get some be layered samples apparently they are made to order and it takes time when you're developing perfumes for them to ferment and to develop kind of like a freaking wine so it takes about two to four weeks from when they make the fragrance to when they ship it to you for it to truly develop it to come into its own and really reach its max potency and everything like that and if you know a little bit more about this drop a below comment but uh, she sent me these samples when they first arrived to her she said they they didn't smell up to date they didn't smell on par they didn't smell good and she really searched and that's when she found out that information but today i'm wearing from belay your first kiss exclusive and let me tell you this is a i like it it's kind of like a to me it smells very fresh and citrus but sweet kind of smells like a key lime pie to me for some reason i don't know but i really like the scent and i think it's great for transitioning from what's supposed to be from winter to spring but today it's snowing freaking crazy so we don't know also let me drop you guys i am wearing a sweater that was sent to me and this is let me see this is from mess bb so this is the amazon brand so if you like this you could totally pick it up from them it's just like a cardigan it's a cardigan um but yeah i really like it. i think it's true to size usually i'm a 34b around here and i usually wear like a medium large this one is a large and you, as you can see i have a little bit of like room to where i could go a little bit like a size down if you want to be really tight but i wanted to be a little bit more loose and it aren't and it is in the arms but this is mess bb all information will be listed below and i got a size large but they have so many cute clothes they have like a hoodie they have um button down shirts all types of things and when they hit me up they're like yo you can choose something i was like oh okay i want it oh they're like, you could choose one thing, ma'am. And I was like, okay, well, let me get some yellow. Um, Cause you know, should be spring, summer soon. I think it'd be really cute to rock with just like some high-waisted jeans or with a like high-waisted skirt. It is a little bit, it's cropped. It's not severely cropped, but you know, it hits right. I'm like five, four, five, five. So it hits me like right below my waistline. So it's a little bit cropped, but not severe. It's not like under the boob to where you only got to wear it on vacation. But I really like this shirt. And let's get into what we're gonna talk about today, which is Sex in the City. So lately I've been freaking recapping all the Sex in the City episodes. I am starting on season one. I think I'm on episode six or something like that, but I do this every so often. And I told you guys, I've been feeling kind of crappy. So I wanted to do something to cheer me up. And that show always cheers me up. So I wanted to choose fragrances and I just opened my computer so that Hopefully you are not seeing my bank information. Hacker. But anyways, I um, wanted to choose some fragrances for uh, the main characters. And then let's see if I feel like it. Maybe we can run through some of the supporting characters as well. And talk about what do we think would be their scent. So let's get into the first one that I wanted to choose is for the bad girl herself. And you know I have to choose something that complements that. So for Samantha, if you haven't watched the show, you haven't watched the show, Samantha, she is the feisty, sexually promiscuous PR woman of New York City. She's a little bit older. I think she's like in her 50s in the show or her late 40s. So she's pretty much decided she doesn't want a long-term relationship. She's polyamorous. She's not monogamous. She doesn't want any kids. She's living her best life. She's got the money, the outfit, the body, and all the men, okay? She has the most partners in the show. They did a survey, and it seems that I think she had like 41 partners in the show, and everyone had about 17, 18 throughout the series, but she had 41, so she was living her best life. Um, but for that, I wanted to choose something that I think would be super sexy, of course. She's always on a date. She's always going out, and she's very sultry. So I was like, you know what? This is an obvious choice, but okay have to choose good girl by carolina herrera this is an uber sexy scent um i'm gonna have a video i don't know if it's gonna be posted by the time i post this one but a reaction video and you know jeremy fragrance always freaking likes very sexy scents and he loves this one and this is 
a man eater fragrance very spicy very floral but it also has that component of being just like i don't know a little bit like dim sultry demuring demure is that the word but like a little bit sweet it's just like draws you in kind of a scent but yeah mm, yeah fresh well you know what jeremy said that this fragrance was fresh and i was like eh. I guess when you first spray it, you get some fresh, but it quickly becomes to a heavy, heady nose floral with like a lot of spice and yeah, that's what I get from it. But it totally reminds me of a Samantha scent and yeah, come on, stiletto, that's totally Samantha. And I just got that whole thing in my mouth and it tastes gross, gross. All right, the next one that we have is going to be, let's do Miss Charlotte. Miss Charlotte, Miss Park Avenue, Miss Upper East Side, um, Burberry trench coat Charlotte Prue. That's her thing. She's a where is she? An art dealer, I think, in the show. She's the art dealer. She owns her own gallery. But she's a complete classic woman. Prue. She likes a classic style. She doesn't really deviate from anything. She's really posh. And I think that I want to choose a fragrance that kind of has the same tight butt persona. So I went ahead and I did Chanel number no. five. Now, she's not an old woman in the show. She's like in her 30s, so I didn't want to do the straight off Chanel number five. I thought that would be a little bit too heavy, but eventually I feel like she would evolve to that scent. But this one, let's hit her with Chanel number five, Eau Premier. Now, this one's just a lighter, fresher interpretation of the original Chanel number five. Just a little bit more soapy, a little bit fresh, a little bit more light, like almost like a white floral kind of scent, but very still aldehydic, very uh, soapy. Um, but yeah, I used to wear this scent out, but I think it's very classic, fresh and clean, and it just has a serious element. It smells seriously rich. That's how it smells. But yeah, Chanel number no. five, au premier for Miss Charlotte, okay? Now let's do Miranda. Now if you don't watch the show, Miranda, she is the lawyer, she is a power woman, she's progressive, she's the feminist. She is constantly denying the fact that she's gay on the show uh, because people think just because she's like a power woman and she's about women's rights that she is a gay woman. Um, but I think she was the first one on the show to have a kid, which is very ironic. So she's very progressive. She has a kid by herself, but I think she makes the most money on the show too. But she gets, she's got a lot, a lot of money and a lot of power. And she's known for wearing like a suit. She can really rock a suit and her style is also very classic, but a little bit modern as well. Like she's she's never very feminine. She kind of, yeah, yeah, I would say her style is very, um, very unisex at times. Cause she'll rock a vest with a button down with a tie. Like Miranda would do that. And she was also the, the curator of the dad sinker kind of look. She'll rock a dad sinker on you. All right, so the scent that I chose for her had to be something that's unisex, but I also feel like she wanted something that's like very fresh for some reason. I see her with something that's very fresh and maybe I wanted to do like a lavender scent. She just strikes me as that kind of person, but I gave her something that is like a little bit zesty. So this is Versace by Versace and this one smells like kind of like zesty almost like a lemony lime kind of a scent kind of smells like sprite to me this light literally smells like sprite so sparkling but very fresh but not too feminine because uh, i know a lot of men wear this as well but yeah i think it's very nice light um i don't think she would have a very heavy fragrance so it's very light fresh and very uh zesty so yeah that's verse scents by versace love this one great spring scent Okay, and then what would this be if I didn't do the OG? And that is Carrie Bradshaw, okay? Created by Candace Bunshell. I think that's her name. Bunshell, Bushell, whatever. Carrie Bradshaw, okay? The one that narrates the whole freaking show. She is the sex columnist. She has a column that comes out every week where she talks about sex and relationships, and that's what this show is about. So Carrie's persona is very head in the clouds, eclectic, very stylish. Everyone dies for her closet. So she's all about a designer brand. In fact, in many times in the show, she went into debt over them, Gu not Gucci shoes, what, Manila Blanc's shoes. So she loved that. She loves Prada. She's all about the designer. She rocks the, the classic Dior. Was it the, the Dior um, newspaper dress? Let me know, comment below. What Actually, what was your favorite look? Did you love her and the wife beater and the tutu? Like, what's your favorite Carrie look? Um, but anyways, 
that's kind of her whole thing she's very daring but her her actual look is going to be very understated like she never wore a lot of makeup in the show like she's kind of like a just maybe some concealer and um maybe some mascara and kind of maybe just like some lip gloss sometimes a lip there's very few instances that she even straightened her hair because she's got the wild messy curly hair on her show like very loose very wild child and it all fits together so i wanted to choose something that i feel like she would rock and it's from Derek lam tin crosby and you may disagree with me but i just feel like for a fragrance for her i feel like it would be very pared down and all of the fragrances in this line from Derek lam tin crosby are actually made or not made but inspired by his uh, shop in soho on tin crosby that's the address and it was things that he saw or experienced when he was in his shop and this one's actually silent street and it's just a crisp, clean, white, floral, musky scent. So I, I wanted to choose musky because I know she's all about romance and she's very sensual. And I know men really like musky. So I feel like she would like this one because men really like it. And her whole life was driven by what men like. We'll talk about that in another video. And, but then also, I just feel like she really likes something that's really pared down. And she's all about a natural scent. And this one just kind of combines with your natural scent to make you smell like you but better that kind of a scent um or i would choose a glossier you for her actually um but those are the scents that i would choose for the women now i want to get on here and maybe just play around and think about some scents that i would choose for the men and i'm not really good about choosing scents for men however i think it would be really cool to like think about what kind of sense if that makes any sense if that makes any sense what kind of sense um so let's get on here for mr big i would choose i feel like you know he's all about expensive he's all about the crisp cut hair he only has like a, a long pea coat that kind of like long dark pea coat on he's always like polished the button down briefcase kind of a guy and i really feel like he would do something that's i don't know like a chanel what is it blue de chanel like something really classic or something that has some power but someone else that i was talking to hey stacy we had a conversation about this and i kind of feel like he would also he was kind of a douche so i feel like he would choose something like dior sauvage or something like that it's like still designer and expensive but very stereotypical what do you think what would you choose for mr big um, another one is going to be Steve. Now, Steve was dating Miranda. He was the average Joe. He made a lot less money than Miranda. Um, but he was also a firefighter. And for some reason for Steve, I just feel like he would really choose something that's a little bit, ah, I don't know, woody for some reason. I just get woody from Steve. I feel like he would want to smell woody. I don't know what a really good woody men's fragrance would be, but I feel like Steve would want to choose woody. Maybe some John Gravatos or something like that. Um, the next one would be Aiden. Aiden was like a country guy, but in the city. Uh, he gave me down south feels, even though he, he didn't have a uh, southern accent. But he was dating Carrie for some time, which she cheated on him. Spoiler alert. She cheated on him uh, with Mr. Big. So if you haven't watched it, that's what happened with that. Totally ruined it. Everyone was rooting for Aiden. But anyways, for Aiden, I feel like he's so earthy. I feel like he would either be choosing a scent that had like a lot of patchouli or maybe like just some oils. I don't know. Something about him was like very pared down. Um, and I feel like he would want to choose a scent that was like just very stereotypical. I don't know. Like very, very earthy. I just get a lot of patchouli. Maybe he would even rock a Lush scent. Like, you know, from the Lush store, like Bath & Body. It's like upgraded Bath and Body Works. I feel like he would rock a Lush scent. Um, so yeah, that's what I would select. Also for Mr. Big, I kind of feel like, I don't know, why do I get, I just feel like he would do something that's like well known and classic. I get Givenchy Gentleman from him that has like that lavender note, but still smells very expensive. Or I also get the um, Ralph Lauren, like a Ralph Lauren scent. Something that's very classic, but like crisp. That's what I get from him. But yeah, so those are my takes on what I think the Sex and City cast would wear. Let me know what do you think they would wear and let's start a conversation. If you disagree, let me know. I'd love to hear your comments and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.